Accessible Voting Session. Our new voting system is accessible and compliant with the Americans with Disabilities Act. When requested, a machine operator will create an accessible voting session on the ballot marking device, at least one of which will be at every polling location. Please tell the machine operator what assistance, if any, you would prefer. Usually, the inspector will direct you to a chair in front of a touchscreen ballot marking device. If you use a wheelchair, the chair will be moved out of the way to provide accessibility. You will be asked which accessible device you prefer to use. In addition to the touchscreen, you may use the audio tactile interface, a sip and puff, or a paddle device. Each polling location will have an audio tactile interface. If you use a sip and puff or a paddle device, please bring it with you to the polling location and it will be plugged into the ballot marking device. Once selected, the machine operator will ensure that the device is properly connected to the ballot marking device. From the beginning of your accessible voting session, the ballot marking device will provide you with step-by-step -step instructions on how to use it and will walk you through the process of voting your ballot. At the beginning of your session, you will be able to adjust the display screen contrast and zoom settings using your accessible device. You can also change the volume and speed of the audio. Please be aware that when using the audio and visual display together, the audio may not match the video display word for word. When using the audio, it will read the contest and candidates to you and provide instructions on how to select your choices. There may be a slight delay between when you make your selection and when it registers on the screen. The accessible device also allows for write-in candidates. When you get to the end of the ballot, you will have the option to review your selections and make any changes or to skip the review and proceed to printing the ballot. It's now time to scan the ballot. If you need assistance inserting the ballot into the scanner, place the ballot in the privacy sleeve and ask the machine operator for help. The ballot can then be inserted into the scanner using the manila folder to protect the voter's privacy. The scanner will automatically count the voter's selections and deposit the paper ballot into the ballot box.